This weekend, dumped in. Fargo will use that to get a change. Out comes Cody Mons, Aaron Hugland, and Tristan Bros. Top line for Fargo as Waterloo shoots that one in. Seedham ties up the Blackhawk skater. Jack Peart over there as well. Good to see Jack back after his high school season completed in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Minnesota's Mr. Hockey, Hugland. Oh, trying to toe drag, but lost the puck. Mons tried to center for Hugland. Pass did not connect. Carried out by Waterloo. It's carried out there by Ryan O'Hara. Lestarza. Lestarza check. Met along the wall by Ryan Seedham. His play goes back up the wall. Cody Mons tries to send it out. Gaffney goes back down the wall. Goal line extended, taken off the play. Now over in the corner. Tied up there. Mons along with Huglin, and Huglin carries it out. Backhanded pass, fluttering puck. Wyatt Shingothi, veteran for Waterloo. That one sent in deep, hard off the inboard. Shingothi tried to center, deflected. Waterloo cannot hold the zone. Fargo without Austin uh, Wong, serving the second game of his sus suspension. Did not play in Des Moines. Tristan Bros tries to flip it for Rolt. McDonald will fire it back in for the force. They'll complete the line change. Out comes Hughes, Davidson, and Crasset. Over three and a half minutes in. Shots on goal. Just one nothing so far in favor of the Blackhawks. Fargo is plus 18 in the first period this year. Which means they've scored 18 more points than their opponent in the first period. Waterloo is minus 16. So getting the lead and trying to get something established early is really big twofold. A, they've had a, they've had to chase the scoreboard here at home essentially their last five games with the exception of one. And you got to try and establish things early, which Fargo has not done here in recent games. They've really had to play from behind a lot. Davidson couldn't handle it as the slot was crowded. Pass for Clevin. Clevin playing at home. Comes across the line. It's from Moorhead just across the river. Pass never got to the goal. Long pass for Davidson. Davidson is back to the goal. Will back it up in front with control. The net's open for an instant. Fargo couldn't center the puck back in front. A little over six minutes in. We'll get a stoppage here shortly. Jeanette gains the line. Three on two. Make it four on three. Jeanette spins a drive and a save. Me and Casey McDonald tonight. Kyle Smolin center, uh, centering Kyle Richardson. Or Ryan Richardson and Tyler Rollwagen. Extra forward is Grant Slukinski. We had appreciation night tomorrow night. A lot of great activities. Force will have some new jerseys out there. Some powder blues that look sharp. Here's a one-timer fanning on it. Was Ethan Schmagi. Back to the point it goes. There is a shot fired wide again. That one from the point. Cooper Wiley. Back behind the net it goes. Peart spinning. Couldn't find the puck for an instant. It's a battle for it along the inboards. You can see you know, to the left of your screen. Seedham. He's tied up. Salquist waiting for that puck to come free. It does, but quickly met over there by Waterloo and Ryan O'Hara. Now Jack Peart. You mentioned Peart winning Mr. Hockey in Minnesota. Award given to the top high school player in the state. Jake Priscilla out the string, but an entertaining game nonetheless. 4-4 in the third period. That's the only other game tonight in the United States Hockey League. Here no score. Fargo currently sits four points behind Tri-City. You've got some teams that are trending upward to the Western Conference. Tri-City has won eight in a row and nine out of ten. And Sioux City worked themselves back into the race. They've won eight out of ten and basically... Five teams, as we mentioned, Omaha, Fargo, Tri-City, Sioux City, and Des Moines essentially playing for the four Western Conference playoff spots. Seedham tied up with Gaffney. Back up along the wall. Seedham for Cody Mons for Fargo. Now Bros at center. Gains the line. The flourish here the last couple of weeks. The road has been a little bumpy here in the last two, three weeks. Three, six, and one of their last ten. We got a much-needed win after losing three straight to Omaha, including two here at home. Tough loss last Friday. Came away with a 2 0 win at Des Moines. Des Moines to HL, seventh at 79.2%. They've allowed 35 goals to the opposition. Boarding is the call. Shots they made by Boynton. There's the first shot of the power play. Shots on goal, 4 3 in favor of Fargo. Force clear it. And all the way down with Davidson, Richardson, Jack Peart, and Tucker Hodgson here. Special teamers out there in the penalty kill for Fargo. Waterloo with Ethan Schmaggy uh, out there. Back along the wall near side. Davidson is tied up over there with Dane Montgomery. O'Hara also there for Waterloo. Puck ringing around to the far side. And Ryan Richardson will send that one and all the way down. 
Now it should go with a chance in front. Both teams will change up. Five seconds to go on the power play for Waterloo. They'll get, looks like, one shot on goal. And back at even strength. Kristen Bros waits for Hughes. Bear Hughes to the bench. Cody Mons will hop out there. Puck off the official. Peart trying to work his way around the official. Couldn't come up with the puck. Here's a turnover. Loose. Peart bats it off the inboards. Fargo looks to get out of their own end. There we do with Bros back to neutral ice. Peart will try to shoot that one in off the body of the Waterloo skaters and Cooper Wiley. Wiley will play at St. Cloud State. A good run for the Huskies in the NCAA playoffs. Runners up to UMass. And some Fargo Force with Tri-City. That's going to be, and they've got three Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that might tell a lot. And if Des Moines got to get some points, if they don't, that might seal their fate for the postseason. And they definitely have to get some points against a red-hot Tri-City team right now. There's a shot through traffic, and Boynton with the save on the shot from Mason Reiners. Fargo clears it out. And race for the puck. Rossini McDonald trying to get there for the force. So on far side, carried in by Luke Bast. Bass looking for a lane and found it. Back hands that one towards the goal. Centering pass in front. Shot blocked. As in front that time, Ryan O'Hara couldn't get a clean shot off that time. Waterloo maintains the zone with Jeanette. Takes a hit from McDonald. Keeps going back down into the corner. Puck back behind that. Now Brasini tries to grab another run for Fargo. Brasini high into the air. Played with a high stick that time by Tucker Ness. And Blackhawks off the faceoff. Deflected as Ethan Schmeggy will chase that one down for Waterloo. Schmeggy off the body of Shin Gothi. Pass goes errant. Race for the puck. Hughes trying to chase after it. Cooper Wiley. Wiley chased by Bear Hughes. Fargo on the four check. Come away with the loose puck. Peart for Seedham. Seedham, red line, fires that one in. We approach two minutes to go in the first in a scoreless game. Gaffney, now Hughes spins and fires his shot. One deflected, never did get to the net. And Emmett Crittell. As Crittell, seven and five. Here's a turnover. Huglin. Huglin's pass for Cody Mons. Just behind Mons, didn't connect. Good idea as Fargo tried to take that turnover and See if they can respond, get a scoring chance and score quickly. Davidson fanned on it from the red line. Seed him now for Jack Peart. Now Huglin. Huglin across the first period. They have struggled to get the lead here at home as they've lost five straight here at Shields Arena. They have to go back to March 7th. They swept the, um, actually 5th and 6th of March when they swept Sioux Falls. Scored eight on the 5th. Shot blocked. Back behind the net. McDonald, tw 23 seconds to go in the period. Jack Peart in deep. Peart, shot, and in front, and a goal! And Fargo grabs the lead, so Jack Peart is first goal of the season. Scoring for your Fargo! Final seconds here of the Number first. Four, Jack Peart! So Peart, the Mr. Hockey in Minnesota, comes back and helps the USHL team the force. Jake Brasini, the assist on that one. For the goal, sta uh, goal stays with Jack Peart, off the face off. Fargo getting that first goal, working with the lead, which has been, well, they did the other night at Des Moines, but this recent stretch, they have struggled. They've had to chase the score a lot, especially here at home. Bros gains the line. Kristen Bros trying to get around, and eventually did, trying to get around Michael the Stars. I could neutralize, see them fans on it, but there's Peart to scoop it up. Mons. Batted away. Seedham trying to get it back at center. Send that for Huglin. Huglin's pass tried to set. Or they're out of the postseason hunt. Score! If you could get one, you're, you're kind of hoping that would open up the floodgates, and it may have. So Bear Hughes, the goal, his ninth goal. Matt Crassa, another shot. And Davidson. Crassa and Davidson, another shot wide as Fargo starting to. Rapper Crotel on the Waterloo net. Ozar, pass, deflected, got pinballed around, couldn't find Max Sasson. As for Richardson, he couldn't grab it at center. Ozar tries to get it back, taken back by Seedham for Jack Parrott. Now for Richardson. Now if you're Fargo, don't take the foot off the gas. And scoring has been hard to come by. In the five straight losses at home, four have been by one goal here for Fargo. He scored four against Waterloo and a 4-1 win at Young Arena on the 26th, but held to two against Sioux Falls, two at Lincoln, lost both those games March 27th and 28th. 
And then against Omaha, got shut out here April 2nd, lost 4-3 on April 3rd, held to two last Friday at Omaha, and two got was enough against Des Moines on Saturday night, a 2-0 victory. Roll wagon, grabs that loose puck and sends it along. Fargo will get to a change. Croteau will send that one along, and that comes Waterloo. Passed, cross ice, Aaron pass. McDonald trying to make that turn into a turnover and can't. O'Hara's checked. And take it back there by Mason Reiner. Sends that one in. Aiden Van Royen getting some ice time for Fargo. Is Fargo running out tonight? So Fargo gets to the power play. And off the faceoff. I'll go see if they can add another one leading 3-0. Aaron Hugland back behind the net. Fargo's power play 12th in the USHL. Just over 17%. They have 30 power play goals on the year. So Fargo getting to the man advantage is in an announcement on the penalty as Hugland across the line. Hugland down low in front for Bros. One timer and a save made by Croteau. Back for Peart at the blue line. Ryan Seedham. Peart walks in. Down low, Hugland. Goal line extended. Hugland back out, Seedham. Bros. Into the slot. Left circle. Bros. Right to center. Pass didn't connect. Peart able to. Hold the zone. 109 to go on the man advantage. Bros shot blocked. Here it recovers, chases the puck down. Now at the point, Bros. One timer, seen him a drive. Really a, a tip. And ends up wide. Here it keeps it in deep. Now for Ryan Seedup. Bros, right circle, a drive, save made. Bouncing puck rebound nearly came free. Here it reaching for it. Cody Mons spins and keeps it in deep. Shot went wide, missed the net. Seedham, 40 to go on the power play. Jack Peart. Peart, well, he got caught between his skates. Seedham fakes on the shot. Bottom of the circle, pass for Peart. And a creeping across the slot. Bottom of the left circle, kept in by Seedham as the pass did not connect. Down low, Huglin. Huglin checked by Wiley, loses the puck in the process. Fargo in the corner with it for Bros. Pass in front for Peart to drive. Save May. Save May there that time by Emmett Croteau. Seedham. In front for Cody Mons. Loose into the crease. Croteau. In the first four games of April, they have scored just seven goals coming into tonight. Got shut out once. Prasini tried to drop it in front for Richardson. Pass didn't have enough steam on it. Ozar will carry it back out for the Blackhawks. Lost the puck of the process. Taken back by Salquist. Like dump and chase with Prasini as the puck to the corner. Taken back there by Cooper Wiley. Argo again. Four checks been pretty aggressive here tonight. Jeanette, Waterloo skater, went down slow to get up. Jeanette shot, kicked aside by Boynton. It was the first shot. Spinning puck. And it'll be Mason Reiner's back to play it for Waterloo. And 22 to go on the Brasini penalty. Fargo leads 3 0. Jeanette, look out. That one, whoa. That one, Dean Montgomery on the draw. Off the faceoff. Jonah Copre. One carried in by Ethan Schmeggy. Boynton backhanded. Boynton has to get back in net as he tried to backhand that one. Quickly retained by Waterloo. Copre lost the handle of it. Kept in. Left circle. Shot that time wide from Ryan O'Hara. Copre. Out down low. Peart with a nice job to take Lestars off the play. 48 to go in the Brasini penalty. Puck batted free by Fargo. Controlled by Peart, and Jack will send that one all the way down. Should allow Fargo to change up, but it will. Off the faceoff, controlled by Fargo, Jack Peart. Reiner's the goal. Gaffney in the assist, and the second one to Max Sasson. Make it 3-1. Turnover. Backhanded back to center, bouncing puck through center as it was backhanded by Smolden. Waterloo will jump in their step. Ozar, no, offside, but seconds apart to add the lead, but that one goal is kind of giving a little bit of momentum back to Waterloo, and it's right now that dangerous two goal lead for Fargo. There's a turnover at center. Cody Mons. Mons, going to go cross ice in the pass, intercepted. Clevin. Clevin can't get around Tristan Bros. Lestarza trying to control it. Back comes Fargo with Bros. Bros down the left wing boards. Fargo trying to 
Solidifies some puck possession of the offensive zone. Huglin now for Seedham. Seven minutes to go here in the second. Near side, Krasa knocks down a Waterloo skater in front of the Blackhawks bench. Head coach P.K. O'Hanley. P.K., one of the veteran coaches in this league here is Hughes. Go is McDonald reaching for it. Sends that puck in to quickly swipe back by the Blackhawks. Long pass connects as a drop pass. O'Hara trying to drop it in front for Sasson. Save many more games than Des Moines. Des Moines only going to end up playing 51 of the 54 scheduled games this year. So the most points they can end up with is 60. And again, it will come to point percentage. Like how many points you get for the number of games you play. And that's going to basically decide things rather than total points to see who makes the postseason. Richardson shot. Missed the net. at high. Just over the crossbar, hit high off the glass. Fargo. Trying to reestablish things in the offensive end. There's a pass Montgomery. Montgomery a toe drag, but lost the puck in the process. Sent towards the net, and Boynton able to Waterloo. 4.05 of the second. Off the draw, Richardson. Roll wagon back behind the net. Roll wagon tied up with Luke Bass. Now Smolin. Seat him at the point. And a spin, see if he could shake the defender Shin Gothi. And then off to the net. Richardson taken back by Ozar. Ozar gets it back at center. Pass intercepted. Smolin trying to break down ice. Richardson and Rollwagon. Rollwagon, right circle. Poke check away. Loose puck getting it back. Trailing the play. Smolin. Shot save made. All kinds of number two C, which will get them home ice for the playoffs, which will begin in two weeks. Cleared out and all the way down. See them trying to chase it down. First round of the playoffs, both Eastern and Western Conference, will be a three-game series, and whoever has home ice will get all the games. The road team, or the number three or four seeds, will not get a home game. Dumped in by Jack Peart. And cleared out, but kept in by Ryan Seedham. Bros returns it for Seedham. Now Peart deflected off the deflection. Huglin, Peart. Monza hopped over Seedham, couldn't keep it in, and it'll go all the way down. Fargo, both the teams will change up. 1.15 to go on the man advantage. Davidson. Salquist cutting in front. Paired Cody Mons off the faceoff. Peart. Peart to the slot. A shot blocked. Cody Mons. Now for Huglin. Huglin a shot. Crittell the save. He was looking behind after the game. Off the faceoff. Bro, shot save made. That save there by Emmett Croteau. Comes back to seed him with the point. And we're back to even strength. Fargo maintains his own, but not for long. Neutral ice and Garrett Shifsky. Now O'Hara just out of the penalty box. Shifsky pass. Jeanette, Jacob Jeanette. Fans on his attempt. Try to send it in front. Jack Peart. Mons. Seed him. Now Peart back behind the net. Inside of 30 seconds to go. Cleared, but not out. Blackhawks. Hope free. Rose, now Peart will locate it for Fargo. Jack Peart will just flip that one in, bouncing puck, Croteau. That one off the glove of Emmett Croteau to make it a 4-1 game. So Fargo a three goal lead as we start period number three. First of this two game series. Fargo will be at Sioux City next week. Pass wide, home games coming up for Waterloo next week. We have, we have Lincoln on the schedule. Centering pass tied up in front that time for Waterloo was Ryan O'Hara. Fargo carries it out with Bros. Bros a drive high and wide. High off the glass. Aaron Huglin keeps it in. Bros sliding down as Huglin grabs the loose puck. Mons is camped in front. Taken off the play. Huglin as O'Hara for Owen Ozar. Ozar dumps it in. Jack Peart quickly back. Retrieve it for Fargo. Opening minute of play here in the third. Fargo a 4-1 advantage. Hughes on the right wing boards. He gets tipped up. The grind, the potential for playoffs coming up. You take every opportunity you can. Every day off. Here's Smolin. And try and use it to your advantage. Peart. Now Ryan Seedham. Seedham shot blocked. Rollwagon reaching for it. And Seedham gets it back at neutral line. Shot in by Smolin. And will allow Fargo. Get a line change. McDonald out there along with Brissini and Salquist. Fresh set of skaters out there for Fargo. 17-19 to go in the third. Fargo. As Salquist 
Keeps that puck in, goes down. Gaffney reaches for it. Montgomery couldn't grab it on the run. And back comes Waterloo again. Pass for Montgomery. Taken back by Peart. Rossini has Sawquist with him. Rossini gains the line. The process from Garrett Shevsky. 4-1 Fargo. Ozar with it. As we have a whistle. Let's try and stay aggressive, but you don't want to get too reckless as well. They take a penalty, and Waterloo will try and take advantage. They're all two on the man advantage so far tonight. It's taken there, Michael with Starza. Back to the point. Pass back for Lestarza, back behind the cage. All along the end boards, Jack Peart out of the penalty kill for Fargo, along with Davidson, tries to send that one along. It's kept in. Schmaggy, pass, went behind O'Hara. As Hughes, cleared but not out. Shot, blocked, that one did not get through that time from Ethan Schmaggy. Behind the cage, controlled by Peart. Trying to reverse field, they're trying to ring that one around, and able to do so. Puck cleared out and all the way down. Fargo with a change. Hodgson, Gallatin, Ryan Richardson, and Rollwagon out. The penalty kill now for Fargo. A minute seven, and Fargo will change up. 30 seconds to go on the so far very uneventful Waterloo power play. They've not picked up a shot on goal. Clevin to send it in. Griebel got a piece of it. Rolling puck. Prasso reaching for it. Now the corner. Back behind the net. Mason Reiners went down. We have another back of Tri-City. Top of the Western Conference stand. They're going to have two three and threes to end the regular season. Three with Des Moines this weekend will try City, and they have three games next week as well. And I believe they're both three and three. I'll have to double check on that. I know this weekend it is. There's a shot high and wide as Ethan Schmeggy missed the net. Smolin comes away with a loose puck. Gets it out of the zone. Neutralized roll wagon. Tied up along the far side boards is Seedham to play it. Seedham. Behind Roll Wagon, trying to gather it in, and we'll send that one along. And Fargo just trying to keep it out of the middle of the ice right now with it stressing more defense uh, defense and goaltending. You look at the top flight goaltenders you have in the Western Conference, including Boynton, among others. And sent along Todd Scott, Yakub Dobas, and Omaha, among others. And 48 to go in the third. 4-1. In favor of Fargo, loose puck. Can Copray get there? He does. Beats Krasa to the loose puck. Here comes Waterloo with O'Hara. He gains the line. Poked away. Nice job to recover there by Seedham. Spin on a shot off the stick of O'Hara. Up and over the net. Seedham. Near side. And that fluttering puck into the Fargo offensive zone. Bass gets there. Davidson. Mark Hublin tries to center in front. They dropped it from Anzu, left it on the doors. 8.45 to play, 4-1 in favor of Fargo as they remain perfect against the Blackhawks this year. 4-0 against Waterloo. Pass for Shin Gothi. Gaffney taken down by Cody Mons, able to throw a shot now in favor. I don't believe they got a shot on goal in the last power play. Shot save there, and Boynton has to make another six. They haven't really shown much to get themselves back into the game. You've given them a couple of chances. Ness with a shot fired wide. So, able to establish some work on this power play, really more so than they have the entire night. Reiners at center. Pass wide of Clevin, couldn't chase it down. Strom clears it out and all the way down. There, Fargo. And nice job of the penalty kill so far tonight. So a couple of shots so far in this power play for the Blackhawks, down by three. At center. Reiners down the right wing boards, now to the corner. There by Strom, back to the point. Now Ness. Ness trying to return it. Reiners to the high slot. Severo after it. Here trying to clear it and couldn't. Swing and a miss there by Rollwagen. For Severo, left circle. Poke free by Peart. Clevin over in the corner with it. Back hands it, Peart. Strom, and that will. Take care of it, clears it out and all the way down. While well, Fargo, actually both teams will change up on the specialty teams units as Hodgson, Gallatin, Hughes, and Davidson on the penalty kill for Fargo. Official still to May. Stay put until I drop the puck, please. There we go. So Waterloo in that power play goal, getting to within two as they try and keep up the momentum. Richardson sends that one along. 
Loose pocket center. Jeanette couldn't grab it on the run. Seedham will for Fargo. Now Jack Parrott. Inside roll wagon. Roll wagon. Trying to beat pass to the puck. They meet along the end board. Trying to center for Richardson. Reaching for it. Smolin tried to find Richardson. Greville. Hands it back towards the Fargo bench. Smolin will send that one along. Fargo will start up in a line change. 527 leans the line. Rose. Rose left circle in front for Hugland. Hugland cutting in front. Pass just missed. Back to neutralize. Seedham fires that one back in. Four minutes to play in the third. Rose in the corner with it. Rose. Fargo has not had much sustained ice time in the offensive zone of the third. Kept in Hugland. Pass trying to connect with Mons. Now Hugland gets it back. He is harassed by O'Hara. One time repair to drive and Williams. Offensive zone. See if he could punch one in to finish the deal. Quick wrister that time deflected. Got pinballed around after the shot from Rose. Fargo did indeed win the faceoff. O'Hara tried to send that one along. First attempt didn't work. Second time able to send it across ice. Belpedio fires that one in deep. Peart, far side. Bros trying to send it along. Cleared, but not out. See them back behind the cage. Run around. Belpedio. Now over to the corner with it. And Fargo trying to keep it out of the middle of the ice. Mons. Peart. Tristan Bros. Bros cross ice. Fargo. To start up at a change. Gallatin to center it. Shot in front. McDonald. Got to there late, tried to slam it home, and this time wide of the net. Two minutes to play. I think Waterloo and P.K. O'Hanley, yep, they're going to get goaltender Williams to the bench. Sixth attacker out there, empty net on the Waterloo side. Trevor Griebel for Fargo. Turnover, pass in front, tied up in front was Jeanette. Shot pushed wide. Waterloo, empty, net. empty net as they have cleared and emptied out, taking out Jack Williams to the bench. Ozar. Pass, trying to hustle after it. Ozar working hard. Goal line extended. Sharp angle shot off the side of the goal. Kept in by the Blackhawks. Sasson. Ozar cannot play it off the half wall. Shipped out by Fargo. Inside of 90 seconds to play. Schmege. Sent in again by the Blackhawks. Peart back behind the net. Force trying to open up this final home stand of the season, regular season with a win. Behind the cage, Ozar. Ozar for Wiley. Wiley shot, deflected, tipped up and over the net, set it front. Severo was on the doorstep. Set it back in front that time, centered by Waterloo. Shot cross ice, Ozar to play it, winds and fires, blocked by Peer, taken out by Davidson. Final minute of play on this one. Davidson cannot get around.